Good morning everybody, I'm Logan and welcome back to Brian's Farm. What we're starting out with today is getting ready to plant our coal crops for the early season. And if you don't know what coal crops are, it's like cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, all that kind of stuff. But before we head to the field, we need to get ready and fill our water tank with our fertilizer water. And so this tank can hold 550 gallons. We're only gonna fill it up to like 400 or maybe a little more than 400. And we also now have to put a new hose on because with just normal wear and tear and over the course of the winter, this hose cracked off and we need to get a new one on there. We actually have two hoses right over here. And these hoses, the one is that's supposed to go on the tank there and it'll feed into our transplanter. But if the water is not at the right angle, like if the wagon isn't sitting right, it won't feed into our tank. So then we have to get a little pusher pump, turn that on and push it into our tank. So we have two hoses, the one's good, the one is not. So I'm gonna replace the one and hopefully the other one stays good, at least for this planning and hopefully the rest of the season. So here's our tank. It's got a little bit of scum in the bottom, not bad. We cleaned it out really good last year, but just over the course of the winter, you can't get all that water out. Like it's almost impossible unless you're in there with like a paper towel and a sponge, just, you know, rinsing it out. But we think it's pretty good. I don't think that little bit of scum's gonna hurt anything. I'm gonna start filling this and while I'm filling it, I'm gonna work on replacing this hose. So these hoses, especially when they get all dried out like they are, they get stuck on there extremely hard and you can't do anything really to get it off. And if I keep prying on it, there's a possibility I could crack this or break this and that would be really bad. So I got my little grinder, I'm gonna try and grind this off and see what happens. Like a charm. Jeez. Okay, so here I've got my new pipe and I've got this clamp, which we didn't have on before and we should have. So, we should be able to slip this on pretty easy, tighten her up, and then we should be good to go. Well, I thought, I thought pretty easy. Wow, that's going on a lot harder than I thought. It's just about there. I got like three eighths of an inch left to go. But I can't get it anymore and I'm starting to loosen this fitting which I don't want to do. I might have to call it right there. Okay, so we got this on. I actually finished getting it on all the way. Got my clamp on. Now we'll come back here to the other side and I'll slip this fitting off and inside of this one. So I'm having quite a bit of trouble getting this fitting in the hose. We're gonna wait till Ben gets here. Hopefully we can get four hands on that and get it on. But for now, what I'm gonna start doing is getting the stuff in here we need and get this filled up. It's already about half, over halfway. And actually, it sounds like Dad might've shut my water off. Oh no, it just filled on. Okay. okay, so gotta get this nutrients in there. We have our fertilizer over here in this green bag. We got our fertilizer. Now we'll go mix this with some hot water, mix it up and pour it in. Okay, so Ben and Sammy just got here. Sammy's putting away the tools. Ben got the hot water mixed with the fertilizer, so he's getting that all mixed up real good. And then we're gonna dump that in the tank. <laughs> Show me, it's green. What is it? 
uh, fertilizer. No, you're supposed to say witch's stew. Oh, which is which is stew. <laughs> It was on there. This hose was on here. And that hose was also on there. Why did you take it off? Because the hose broke, we had to get a new one. Are you sure you're using the right end? I don't think it's the same size. Huh? Now he's brewing. <laughs> he's brewing some tea. It's just tea. So the water tank's filled. I just got in the big John Deere, heading over to get the Wagon full of plants right now. Ben and Sammy are starting to pull plants. Then I'll come back over, hook up the tractor to the transplanter, get that up there. And then I'll come back with the green tractor and get the water tank up there. So kind of a lot of running back and forth, but it's supposed to rain and we don't want to have any more tractors out than we need to because we don't want to get them wet. There's Ben and Sammy right now. Hopefully I can get the wagon out of there. I think I can, I don't got much room. Here we go. Okay, so we just got up here and planted two rows. Like I said, Sammy and Ben pulled a lot of the plugs but didn't finish everything. Ben right now is pulling, what are you pulling, broccoli? Uh, this is called gypsy broccoli. Yeah. So the reason we pull the plants is because when they're planting, they have to be able to plant fast and they get stuck in these trays if they, when they're trying to pull them out. So we pull them out of here, lay them in these flats and then they can just pull them out with ease instead of trying to fight with these things. So then once they're pulled, we put them on our planter. Right now dad's filling up the tank on the transplanter. We're planting cauliflower and it's kind of like onions, except now we're using water. Last time we weren't. So, as they're going through the field, this clicker right here, which it's hard to see, will push down, and when this pushes down, it drops water out and waters the plant. And that's how it gets planted. So, over here is the cauliflower that already got planted. And what we're looking for is to have the plant planted and make sure all the dirt is covered, but we don't want to have it too far up the plant. So, that's about perfect right there. So hopefully we can keep going like this and it shouldn't take us long, about an hour or two and we should have this planted. We're trying to beat the rain right now, it's misting, but it ain't too bad, so we're just gonna keep going with it. Okay, so I had to run down for gas and as I was on my way down, I could hear alerts coming on the radio that there's a severe thunderstorm, maybe possible tornadoes. That would be really bad or hail, all of them would be terrible. So I got my gas, got back, we filled up the tractor because we were getting nervous. So Ben, while I was gone, Ben had to take over driving and you can see his rows are absolutely beautiful they're straight as an arrow and the soil is just perfect nice and fluffy not too wet and not definitely not too dry so i'll come out here and show you how they're doing it it's a pretty simple process but it's a pretty simple process if you've been doing it for a while like sammy and my dad have been doing this now for the past couple years somebody who's new at it you know it takes a little bit to get used to just like anything but they've really got the hang of it they've got it down pat and everything looks great. So let's go out here and see how they're making out. We've got the, looks like they're on to the broccoli. They're finishing up broccoli and then they're gonna be on to cabbage. What are you playing right now? Gypsy, broccoli.
get her. Go get her. Go get her. Go. Go get her. Go. Go get her, Ace. I don't want to go. Hey, come on. You gotta go. Come on. Go get her. Go get her. Call her. Call her. Go get her. Go get her. Come on, Ace. Go. So we just seeded our early season cabbage. Now we're in the greenhouse planting our mid season cabbage. We'll have one more planting yet, which will be our late, but we won't do that for another couple weeks yet. Okay, so now I'm back out here. It's about six o'clock and I just wanted to show you guys what the cabbage field looks like now that it's finished. You can see the water laying between the rows. We got a pretty hard storm. After we got finished, we were hoping we were gonna have one or two empty rows to plant peas and beans. We plant yellow beans, green beans, shell peas, and sugar snap peas. And so as we started planting, we could see the sky getting really dark and we don't like to be out in the field when we know a nasty storm is coming, but we wanted to get everything in before it rained. And so it was me, Ben and Sammy. We went out through and we got the yellow beans planted and the green beans, got into the sugar snap peas, got them done. We're just about to move into the shell peas and I'm talking the thunder just cracked extremely loud. We could see lightning and we're like, there's no point in us getting struck by lightning out here in the middle of this field. So we hauled out of the field pretty fast and uh, got inside and it was only probably about 10, 15 minutes and it just started downpouring. And as you can see, I mean, the water lane between the rows. Right here is the beans, which you can't really see because they're just seeds that are underneath the ground. Right here is a little bit of a pink seed sticking out. It rained so hard that it actually kind of washed the dirt away. I mean, if we had the choice, we'd have chosen a nice, you know, couple hour rain instead of a, 15 minute downpour, but you know, we we'll take what we can get because we're just happy now that these plants are watered in. Sometimes we'll plant and we won't get rain for three, four days, sometimes a week or even two weeks. I mean, you just never know. And then we have to get out the irrigation pipe and start watering them in because it's very important that they get set in and the roots can start, you know, getting established. So I think for the most part, these bean seeds are okay. I don't see really any sticking out, just a couple there at the beginning, probably because it was just, uh, just at the beginning where I, we use a little bike and I wish I would have got to show you, we were just in a hurry and I didn't get to video it. But we use this little bike and it's got this little container on it and we just push it through the field and it plants the seeds for us. If we were planting a lot, we would have used like our corn planter. But like I said, we're only planting one or two rows. So we just get, get this little bike out and we run it through the field. It's pretty neat. I'll have to show you it sometime, but not today because you know, the weather. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna call it a wrap for this video. So always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.